Samsung just removed a key secure folder feature in One UI 8 and users aren't happy. Samsung's One UI 8 update brings a range of enhancements and fresh features designed to upgrade the Galaxy experience. One of the big changes is a redesigned secure folder app with a smoother interface and better performance. But quietly, one major option has been removed, leaving many users frustrated. Previously, the secure folder's auto-lock settings offered six choices for automatically locking the folder. These included, each time I leave an app, when the screen turns off, after five minutes, after 10 minutes, after 30 minutes, when phone restarts. With One UI 8, the each time I leave an app option has disappeared with the courtesy of Tar and Vats. This setting was highly valued by users because it locked the folder instantly after leaving a protected app, ensuring maximum security. Now without this option, users have to either manually lock secure folder or depend on time-based or restart-based settings. This change has sparked concerns about security. For instance, if someone forgets to lock the folder and hands over their phone, private files or apps could be exposed. Still, not everyone's upset. Some say they never used the feature, while others believe it was unnecessary. But a large section of Galaxy owners are demanding Samsung restore it in a future update. For now, it's unclear if Samsung plans to respond to this feedback, but users remain hopeful that the missing option might return with an upcoming patch. Stay tuned for any further updates. Don't fall for the hype that leaked One UI 8 roadmap might not be what it seems. A supposed One UI 8 rollout schedule has been circulating. It mentions exact dates for when stable updates could land on eligible devices. While it sounds exciting for those eager to try One UI 8, there are a few reasons to stay cautious. Here's the reality. The roadmap was shared on a third-party site that has no link to Samsung. There's also no proof that the information came from an official source or system. In fact, the site mainly works as a tracker for one particular market, which doesn't guarantee global rollout accuracy. Sure, predictions aren't hard if you followed Samsung's usual update cycle. The company already confirmed that One UI 8's stable release kicks off in September, but it never shared the exact dates nor the sequence of eligible device rollouts. Naturally, the Galaxy S25 series will be first in line, followed by last year's foldables. After that, older flagships and mid-range phones will start getting it in phases. That's all for today, but what are your thoughts? Share them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. As always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.